Hello guys, my name is Saturnax. In this video, we're gonna be doing the ultimate test of the Ace Ranger 5 pin editing videos. So, I did the test like a couple months ago, but I was just testing this on the 8GB of RAM. And it wasn't the smoothest experience. I was able to edit the video um, in 1080p, 60 frames per second, and it was fine, but when I just moved on to the 4K, it wasn't that good and wasn't that smooth. And now I have the 16 gigabytes, and I hope it will be just better, and I hope we just be able to edit this 4K footage on this laptop. And, and yes, in the description, you can just get all of the details and the specifications of this laptop. And yeah, with a long link, let me just get into the the venture resolve and let's start doing that video so the speed of the memory is just 2667 megahertz so just the base speed all right let's just create a new project shift 9 to go into the settings and now we can just see all the things that we have in here so first of all let's just try to do the 1080 footage and um we're gonna just do this so let's just click on uh, 1080 and the timeline frame rate and then playback frame rate will be at the 60 frames so let's just hit save now let me just add here some clips okay guys and as you can see i got a fully edited file here and this is the normal uh, video that i just do on a youtube it's just in the 1080p 60 frames just, just like i've been showing to you guys and as you can see i can just play this in 60 uh, FPS and there's not any problem with that so if you're just looking for a laptop that is capable of editing videos in 1080p 60 frames per second you can definitely go for this Acer Nitro 5 and you'll be able to edit the files without any problem as you can see these are just playing still with the uh, 60 frames per second and it's not really a problem for me to, to edit the videos uh, on this laptop and on this specification I think like 16 gigabytes is just enough for most of the users uh, you can just edit the files you can just edit the video movies clips on 16 gigabytes and there's no any problem so let's just see what's the usage of the memory as you can see when it comes to the memory I'm just using the 10 gigabytes so as you can see 12 gigabytes it's definitely a minimum for editing videos in 1080p so now let's just go into the render page and we're gonna render this file and let's see how much time it will take so it's basically 8 minute clip actually we're getting like 8 minutes and 48 seconds of this clip so now let me just get into the youtube page youtube section uh, 60 frames per second let's leave it on a quick time and let's just click add to the render and now let's just render all and now it just started rendering so um let me just also get into the clock and stopwatch and let's just start counting this all right guys so as you can see the program has already finished rendering this and now let me just see yeah so it took 22 minutes to render this clip uh which is not that great score like for the eight and a half duration clip so yeah i think that it could be better but like it's still not bad and you definitely can edit the videos in 1080p on this pc so now let me just move on to the 4k footage and let's see how's the performance in this setting all right guys so now let's connect a new project now let's get into the settings set the 4k 4k ultra hd and now let's just set the frame rate to 60 frames now let's get some files in the timeline in this case i've got some 4k um footages that i downloaded from web and now let's put them here into the timeline and as you can see the playback is pretty smooth yeah it's really smooth it's like a smooth 60 fps so there's definitely not any problem in terms of FPS and the smoothness of editing videos on this machine with 16 gigabytes. Yeah, so it's definitely not any problem. Let's just see what's the usage of the memory. So 10 gigabytes of the memory are in use right now. So 8 gigabytes is definitely not a, enough for editing the 4K file on this laptop. And yeah, you will just need the 16 gigabytes at least. And as you can see, 16 GB is just enough for it. So now let me just edit this file for a little while and 
then we just move on to the conclusion of the 4k editing on this machine see me then all right guys so i just edited this file for a while and as you can see it has some text it has some fusion text it has some music and uh, as you can see i'm just still getting 60 frames the rom was the issue the only thing that actually is stuttering uh, while editing are the fusion transitions but you don't require this to work on 100% while editing the file because you're just adding the transitions and um, you don't need to do anything about it you just let it be there and you just go to the next part of the clip and you just edit this so um, yeah this is how it looks like uh, as you can see just getting into the different parts of the timeline is really easy it's really uh, responsive and you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever rendering and just editing this file so all right so the fan of the cpu is just working at 5000 rpm which is pretty low it's not the fanless macbook air of course but as you can see it does the job definitely edit the videos the 4k videos in 60 frames and machine the winch resolve and um we get like 74 degrees on the CPU right now. Now let's just see if this machine is also capable of rendering the files like this. So now let's go and just render this. So let's add this to the render and now let's render. Okay. It's rendering. And we are almost done with the rendering. And yeah, it's done. So let's click on time. Yeah, it just, it just took almost 20 minutes render the file yep so it just took like almost 20 minutes to render the over 2 minutes video and the 4k and this a 5 is really capable of 4k editing unless you have less than a 12 gigabytes of memory on this machine you can just see how smooth the transitions are the summary is that you can edit all the videos that you would like to edit on this machine you will be just fine, you'll be just getting like the similar performance what I'm getting here but remember, you just need the 16 GB of memory 12 is just minimum um, and you can also play games on this thing so yeah, if you're just looking for a nice performance in this budget price this or Master 5 is the way to go so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed this like it if you like it, dislike if you don't and see me in the next one, see you guys